Hello everybody, this is Brian Garvin from Oceanside, California. Uh, yesterday it was raining out here, but today is dry and sunny with no winds and it's just a beautiful day. Um, I would say close to perfect. Um, I've lived in California all my life and I enjoy the weather, the sun, the most of the people out here, not all of them, but most of them. And um, life is good. Um, so today I'm going to talk about the token QNT, or, which is a ticker or quant. Um, it's an, this is, I, I believe, is a life-changing video, but before I get into it, I gotta go over my legal disclaimer. Uh, this is not financial advice, and I'm not a financial planner. This video is made for educational, entertainment, and informational purposes only. Um, all of us are responsible, including myself, uh, for our own investment decisions. Um, so that being said, I'm gonna start talking about quant. I'm gonna go into the use cases, the three big things they're, they're responsible for, and, and pretty much any tokenomics and everything you want to know. Okay, so the price of quant right now, um, as of the time I'm making this video, is within a dollar or so of $120 per coin. Um, it's currently ranked number uh, 19 on coinmarketcap.com. And um, right now, the market cap for this coin is $1.5 billion. I'm going to go over why that's such a good thing right you know pretty soon but just just keep that in mind it's worth the market cap is 1.5 billion um i currently own 35 quant it's actually my biggest position other than ethereum and bitcoin i own more ethereum than quant i own um actually i own a, about three ethereum and i own uh, one two three uh, a little over two uh, full Bitcoin, so maybe 2.3 Bitcoin or something like that. So um, right now, my position in quant in fiat dollars is about $4,200. Um, it, it, and like I said, it, I own 3% of my Coinbase portfolio in quant. Now I do have, I do have assets outside of Coinbase in a couple other exchanges and um, in cold storage. So, but in Coinbase, it's 3.3% of my you know, total portfolio. Um, I want to talk about quant and, and the real world problems it solves and why I feel it's it's an excellent project. Um, it's it's just not a it's not some useless meme coin which is strictly powered by the community. I mean there's a lot more use case for it that are, are, are real tech. Um, quant has constant research excuse me, quant has constant research and development going on uh, to build something for the world something that will change the world and will improve the entire crypto ecosystem. Um, um, let me see what I was going to say here. Okay. It's a layer, th uh, it's a layer three platform, which can be built on top of layer two networks. Okay. Quant. Um, now let me go over its problem solving abilities. They're providing solutions for cross border payments, big businesses, uh, and they use what they call an overledger platform. That's why it's it's a level three. Um, these businesses need a way to accept Visa, Ethereum, Caspa, Bitcoin, or anything else. Now I'm not sure what's going on with Caspa at Caspa. I'm, I, I've I've read on other things that they might have some issues, but the bottom line is that Quant is made to accept. They're they're actually built to accept anything. They want to make sure that these cross-platform goes all the way, basically. Um, they're a one-stop shop to accept any kind of payment imaginable, like I just said. Um, Quant, Quant, as far as I'm concerned, is the Amazon of cryptocurrency. Um, and with a low market cap, it's very undervalued right now. People just don't know how valuable it is. And I'm glad I do, because I own 35, and I think that's gonna, I'm gonna do really well with that. Um, now, they are known as the future Windows or Mac operating system of Web 3.0. Um, they, have, they have partnered with Oracle and developers can deploy their Overledger platform through the Oracle Cloud Marketplace uh, using uh, Oracle Cloud Infrastructure or OCI or, the, um, or, or with the Oracle uh, blockchain platform. So they can either build on the Oracle blockchain platform or they could... Um, build on the Oracle Cloud Marketplace. Um, so they have, they have uh, you know, developers have options with, with Quant. Um, now, they're, let me go over their basic mission. Well, they actually, they have a few different missions. I'm gonna go over each one of them. 
Um, during COVID, we had supply chain issues. A lot of you already know that. Um, a lot of supply chain issues are solved with pen and paper or basic computer programs. That's the old school way they used to solve the, these logistical issues that used to come about. Um, one of the missions of Quant is to tokenize the entire supply chain. So when something is tokenized, there's 100% accountability. Everything is accounted for and there can't be any mistakes because that's how Bitcoin works. That's how all cryptocurrencies work. Um, it's a, you know, so tokenization is, is a big deal. Um, Quant wants to be the leader in real world assets. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of bringing RWA on chain, but Quant is, is a key player in doing this. Um, that's what makes the potential of it so astronomical um, in the future, um, say four to eight years down the road. Um, so, so a real breakthrough in the crypto ecosystem will come when real supply chains can connect securely with um, payment processing capabilities. And um, I'm gonna go into more of that in a, you know, in, in, in a little bit, but, but basically if you can connect the, the supply chains with, with the ability to accept any type of payment, that's gonna change the world. I mean, it's gonna change the crypto ecosystem, but it's also gonna change you know, online, offline, whatever. It doesn't matter. And, it, and, 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 the, and this company is dedicated to making all this very user friendly. So you don't have to be uh, some kind of crazy engineer tech guy to make this work. Um, that's why I'm so bullish on this opportunity. It's one of the reasons. But I'm going to talk right now about uh, CBDCs. You've probably heard the term central bank digital currencies. Okay, right now, there's governments that want to move to this method of basically instead of having a, a real physical dollar to have a digital currency. Um, countries are starting to implement this. And it will, it's going to get rid of t traditional fiat. Um, I've even heard rumors of the government trying to you know, do this, the U.S. government, but I don't know how long it'll take. I I'm not going to say it's going to take place in a year or five years or whatever, but eventually this could happen. Um, whether we're ready for it or not, it, it could happen. Um, as much as many of you might not be a fan of this um, or want this to happen, uh, th this could be a reality in the next maybe decade or so. Um, if you can't beat them, then own some quant and profit from this transition. That's, that's my, my way of thinking. I'm not telling you to do this, but that's the way I'm thinking about this is if I can't change the fact that this is going to happen, why not buy into the ecosystem or before everybody else and, you know, make sure this happens because less than 5% of people right now own cryptocurrency. Um, and the ones that do, I would say probably... 80, 90% of them are in the wrong projects. They're in meme coins or, or they got fudded into some shit coin, you know. So very few people are structuring themselves properly for this bull run. What I'm trying to get you guys to do before the bull run is get in the right projects, the projects that actually mean something, that could do something. I think I've mentioned this before, but I just want to make sure you guys understood if this is your first, watching your first video with me. Um, they... Quant just wor worked with uh, Roslyn and the Bank of England and, and testing their CBDC um, using a Quant's overledger platform because Quant operates on an overledger platform, like I mentioned earlier. Uh, this is an example of a, a real government wanting to use Quant's overledger system. The federal government wants to convert to CBDCs and eventually they're going to get what they want. So the U.S. government, I think they do want to convert to CBDCs because I've heard the story before a couple of years ago. I've read it before I was even back into crypto. I have a long story about that, but I won't bore you with it right now. Um, but it, the, other re, the, the other asset that Quant brings to the table is something called carbon credits. Now... I'm going to explain this, but a, lots of companies these days want to boast to their customers that, that, that they're going green. Going green is a big deal to some people. Um, part of the quant system is that it can track carbon credits for companies by tokenizing these. This means they'll have 100% accountability of all the carbon credits they, they acquire. You know, there are certain things that they have to do to get carbon credits. You know, going digital is going to help too, but... There's other things that they could do, and they, they keep uh, track of all this to the extent that, you know, they're fully accountable. Like, it's, uh, like for example, a big company can get, you know, say 14,000 carbon credits or something like that. I don't know exactly how that's going to work, but that's just an example. Um, 
companies, especially big companies, feel they can get a lot more business if they brag about how carbon friendly they are. So this this is going to actually give them a chance to do that. Um, I think this feature can come into play in the 2024 to 2028 bull run, which is starting right now, basically. It's just about to start. Um, there's a lot of money coming into Quant, and I want to discuss that as well. So those are the three use case scenarios that Quant has, but now I'm going to talk about the money coming into Quant. Um, the money coming into Quant isn't so much going to be us, you know, small-time people, retail investors, people that have, you know, want to FOMO in for, you know, a grand a month for six months or whatever. That's not going to, I mean, we have the option to do that, but most of that money isn't going to come, it's going to come from big, large institutions. They're established already, um, and, and it's going to come from government entities as well. And that's where the majority of business that Quant's going to do is going to come from those type of people. But we can buy it on an exchange like Coinbase. Um, and I'm sure you know, Quant's a pretty big established company, so you know, I'm sure Kraken and... and, and um, I think it's Uphold and, and some, a few of these other exchanges offered as well. So you can either get it from any, you know, any of these U.S. exchanges that are somewhat U.S. friendly. And I'm going to do a video about that on U.S. friendly exchanges because I, it took me a lot of <laughs> slicing and dicing to get to the point where I figured out the U.S. exchanges that I think we can actually do business with without a problem. So, and that way you'll have more options. But I'm going to do a video on that because I think we need, you guys need to hear about that. So let's talk about the leadership team. Okay, Quant has a very active and engaged leadership team. They're they're full time. They're they're totally into the project. Um, you know, the success success and failure of any crypto depends on the strength of, of the leadership team, basically. So a, a gentleman named Gil, Gilbert Verdian um, is a major leader in crypto um, and has a specialized background in crypto security and interoperable interoperable payments um, you know basically you know Quant and Chainlink are extremely similar and I'm 100% bullish on both projects and, and if I had to pick one of the two that are a little better I would say Quant is a slightly better than Chainlink but I'm I'm not counting out Chainlink at all because I I'm I'm in I think I have 200 link tokens and I have 35 um, Quant tokens as of now um, I'm not saying that I'm going to keep DCA into them because there's a lot of other crypto projects I'm involved with. I really believe in diversity, but I also believe in diversity in smart projects. See, I was in crypto in 2018 and I was diverse, just like I, I believe the same thing now that I believe back then, but I was diverse in a bunch of mostly shit coins. But I didn't know that back then because I was new to the space. I thought every shit project was going to be a big giant winner, you know, and I think out of all the coins that I did, I think I... Binance coin, I think, is doing okay now, and I think I have, like, um, I have a little ripple, but I don't know if that's doing good anymore, and, and a couple other coins, but, well, um, I have, I, have, I still had 0.9 Ethereum in my um, hard, hard cold storage wallet back from 2018, so, you know, I probably have about seven, 8,000 in total assets, but. Most everything I've, I've acquired has been since uh, around November of 2023. So anyway, um, Gilbert's goal is to allow payments from from any form imaginable. Like I said before, you know, you know, Bitcoin, Ethereum, whatever, you know, Visa, MasterCard, Discover. Um, so he, this guy is no clown. OK, he has a proven track record. Let me give you some of the projects that he's been involved or some of the companies he's been involved with so you'll understand that this guy is literally the real deal okay he was a chief information security officer at boca link okay um he was this chief in information officer at NW nsw ambulance he's the chief information security officer at eHealth now he was the director of cyber security at pwc I mean, these are mat these are like top positions. These aren't just like he wasn't just the middle of the pack. I mean, he was he was the top of the heap. And and and, and how about this one? Lead security lead at Ministry of Justice in the United Kingdom. I mean that these are real serious credentials. I mean, you really can't get better than this. And how about this one? Security projects and programs at HSBC Bank. You you guys have many of you guys have heard of HSBC. So he had a top position there. Um, he was involved in integrated supply and trading 
for British Petroleum. You guys have heard of BP, right? Multi, multi-billion dollar gas company. Um, this is where the supply chain aspect kicks in because he totally understands supply chain because he was involved in, in companies and understood stands this type of stuff from the ground up. So he's 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 like the most qualified person to, to, to be involved in this project, to, to take the, the supply chains and make easy payments, easy make it all user friendly. And um, plus he has the contacts to call these guys when things are ready and just try to get them in. And, and, and getting these people in, these big entities and big companies is very slow. It's not a overnight thing that, so if you go out and buy a hundred quant, <coughs> You're not going to see it pump unless Bitcoin pumps. See, if Bitcoin pumps, almost all the altcoins pump with it. So if Bitcoin starts going up like crazy, you're going to see more people invest in quant. Um, but as far as the use case scenario um, adoption, that could take two or three years. I mean, it's a long term hold, but you want to get it now because you don't want the price slowly going up when Bitcoin goes up over the next two years. And then instead of buying quant for 125 a coin, which I think it is now or something along those lines, you don't want to be buying it for four or $500 a coin. So, you know, that's, that's the way I'm approaching it. Um, so like, these are just seven positions that Gilbert's been involved with, um, that I've read off. He had, he does have more positions and I found all these on his LinkedIn page. So it was really easy to find. Um, He's leading the helm with Quant. I mean, he really, he's on top of his game, totally. Um, now, Quant isn't sexy, but it has teeth. Um, you know, you know, coins like Shiba Inu, Doge, and, and Dog with Hat, and all these other memes that have been pumping recently, yeah, sure, they might have made a few millionaires. I'm not going to say they're not, but tons of people have also lost their shirt in those coins. Um, and and I've heard, I, I read stuff like that on the forums, how, you know, they buy the pump, right? And then it's pumping up and then they buy it and then the coin goes down even further because a lot of these guys that got in early took profits and then they got screwed. So I don't, I don't personally want to get involved in mean coins. I'm not saying that if you can't make a buck, go for it, you know, but it's just not part of what I want to be involved with. And um, I, I, I really only like to go for these solid projects because it just position myself in a good place and just wait it out. That's my way of doing crypto. And this is the way I'm going to try to teach you with all the projects I'm involved with. Um, now, a lot of these coins like Doge and, and, you know, Dog with Hat, I mean, they might perish in a few years and you're going to end up with nothing, especially if you don't, you're not experienced with this stuff and kind of have an idea when to sell. A lot of people don't know that. They just figured they're just going to go in it and it's just going to keep going up and up and up. And that's just not how it works, especially with community driven coins. I mean, it might work for a while, but it's not going to work forever. So, you know, the liquidity of these meme holders uh, that didn't think ahead and invest in solid projects like Quant, um, you, you know, this money that they isn't going to leave the market. Um, the money that the winners took, you know, or, or even the money left over from the losers, even that lost, it's eventually going to go into projects like Quant anyway. So, so why, why skip a beat? Why, why go into a middleman trying to, you know, squeeze a little profit first before you do that? You know, I mean, I've made that happen a couple times with, uh, I forgot what it was. It was something proto mirror protocol. I, I forexed on that in the last four months, and I put, but I, I took that money and put it in Ethereum because I think Ethereum's an a solid project for the for the next eight years, four years, eight years, two cycles. Um, so, you know, these this money eventually is going to go into the solid projects. But why skip a beat? Why wait? Why not just put it in now and secure your position? Um, so all this good stuff's going to happen through their Overledger platform. Um, they want to make it really easy for governments and large companies to integrate. And like I said before, they want to make it user friendly. They want to make it so people like you and me, with a few clicks of a button, can get involved in their in, in their project. Um, most of the leaders in the world are old timers. You know, a lot of them are seventy years and older. Um, they're not tech savvy. They're not the new generation of millennials and Gen Zers that are ready to take over the world. I mean, they've they already own the world, and they. It's hard to teach an old dog new tricks, so that's why this, that's why the owner of this coin, Gilbert, or the head of uh, Quant, the CEO of Quant, wants to make this 
user friendly because he knows that you can't train these current leaders to be tech savvy or even in a lot of cases, they don't even have tech savvy teams around them. So um, Quant understands all this and it's why they're very user friendly. Now, they have an application programming interface, which is what they call it short for API. And you could build multi-chain applications. You can't, it's not just a one trick pony. You can actually build uh, layers under layers with, with Quant. Um, and at, at the time, at the end of the day, it's all about seamless integration. If you can achieve that, seamless integration and interoperability, and you can make payments easy, um, that means you can token, that, that means their goal is to tokenize your assets on any chain. And, and this isn't just limited to ERC-20. See, they, they work, you can actually use Quant on any platform. It doesn't have to be the Ethereum platform. Um, they want to work with over 200 countries that want to employ digital currencies. I mean, this isn't going to happen overnight, obviously, but you have to understand for the market to 30 to 50 X, what it is now, they might only have to get 10 to 15 countries on board. And there are other missions too, not just the carbon friendly part, but the, but the part for easy uh, payments. You know, you know, all they have to do is get some large companies on board too, and, and this thing could easily 30 to 50 X. And that's why I'm so bullish on this. Um, now, right now, like I said, Quant has a $1.5 billion market cap. If Quant even achieves a portion of their goals and change part of the crypto ecosystem as we know it, which is what's going to happen automatically if they achieve part of their goals, um, it could easily scale to a $70 billion uh, market cap. I mean, that, I don't see any problems because there's use in Quant. Bitcoin is just a store of value. I mean, don't get me wrong, Bitcoin is king, but it's just a store of value and it's powered by, you know, the fact that it's a store of value. Um, and it, and they're almost, they're over what, a, I think it's like 1.3 trillion right now or something like that, or 1.2 trillion. Um, so this is an easy 50X coin over the next one to two cycles. So this isn't a coin where you're gonna get into it now and check your portfolio three weeks later and it's gonna double or triple. It's not that type, it's not a get rich overnight type coin. It's more of a hodl and get on with your life coin and don't think about it for five or six years. And I'm not saying you're not gonna check it before then because we all check, I check my portfolio every day just out of curiosity. But I don't freak out if you know it goes down 5% or whatever, especially Bitcoin or whatever. It doesn't matter to me because I know when eventually it'll be a million dollars a coin Bitcoin. So I don't freak out about stuff like that. But it has a quant, the, the tokenomics, I wanna go into that because you're gonna like this. They have a fixed supply of tokens which are less than Bitcoin. I think it's uh, only 15 million quant tokens will ever be produced. That's important because it's not a billion coins like some of these other projects, right? Or five billion coins or what, or a trillion coins. I mean, it's that's ridiculous. Um, 15 million and, and Bitcoin, only has 21 million coins. And if you consider the lost keys and all the other stuff with Bitcoin, they're probably down to like 16 million. You know, deaths, people that can't access their wallets anymore because they didn't tell their their wife and kids about them or whatever, you're down to maybe 16 million coins in Bitcoin. And this only has 15 million coins. So it's actually more of a scarce supply than, than Bitcoin. So once it gets mass adopted, the value is just gonna shoot through the roof. Um, so just, and all these all these 15 million are already in circulating supply as I as I'm making this video. So uh, I mean, all there's left is is mass adoption and, and rise of price. That's all. That, those are the only variables that are left. Um, so um, right now, I think a fair market value for Quant is about $300 per coin. It's only $125 per coin as I'm making this video, but I think the fair price would be about $300 per token. And if you can get in. If you can get in for um, three hundred dollars or cheaper, you're getting a true sweetheart deal, as far as I'm concerned. Um, so the, let's talk about governance. This is another thing that Quant has going for it: is people that are part of the network get to vote. Um, Quant has a decentralized governance model where token holders have a say in the network decisions. Um, governance is is important because you get to say where the network's going to go in the future. Token holders can participate in proposals and voting, uh, which allows them to have some influence in the direction of the entire network. So if they have an issue, um, you'll be able to go to a, 
because I, I've been involved in governance tokens before and they usually give you a website to go to and you and and I don't it's kind of complicated but you just vote and click a button and that's it you know depending on how many tokens you have is how powerful your vote is so um, I'm gonna go to my conclusion right now I think I've given you enough of an idea of where this coin's going and, and why it, I think it's a life-changing coin I mean all the coins that I talk about if they're not life-changing or close I'm not even gonna talk about them um, I see a bright future for quant right now it's not the type of token where you invest today and it'll double within a few weeks I just mentioned that but I want to mention it again uh, when it moves due to mass adoption I believe it'll move in a very big way um, so far I've covered ethereum chainlink and uh, quant I haven't really covered uh, Bitcoin directly because I assume you already know about Bitcoin because millions of other people have covered it um, but I do cover Bitcoin in my free crypto class at luckyinvestor.com. So if you go there, luckyinvestor.com, it's free, and you could um, take my class, and it will teach you how to make your first investment in Coinbase if you're a, a brand new investor with no experience and you're concerned about how you're going to get started. Because I've, I've, I, the reason I created this class is because I had so many people come up to me and you know in the local area and say, "Well, I get involved in crypto, but I have no idea how to start." So I I went and uh, I actually took seven weeks of my life and created a nice little tutorial on, on how to use Coinbase. And I won't go through every little step. And that's your way into crypto if you don't have it right now or you're not sure, you're a little scared. I mean, th this, th this class will really help you. Um, now, if you like this video and you feel you learned something, I, um, that'd be great if you would subscribe to my channel and, and, and click the notification bell and then you'll get automated... Um, messages from YouTube each time I create a new video so um, th this is important because I'm going to give you a lot more alpha on different projects that that are going to help you stack see my goal is to help you stack either mid six figures or seven figures in the next say four to eight years that's my goal I think that's a reasonable thing to do and I'm not talking about people that have 300,000 to invest up front I'm not talking about I'm not telling you to sell the farm I'm talking all you need is probably $500 a month minimum because I'm being realistic here. You know, we're in the part of crypto where you have to put up some money. But if you could DCA $500 a month and you can do it in, in either Quant or any of these projects that I recommend, in my opinion, in four years, you have a chance of have, I can't guarantee it, but you have a chance of making a six figure stack or a mid six figure stack even. Um, you don't have to have a, a gazillion dollars up front. I know I, I went in, I, I went in with money that I got from the VA because I was disabled, um, and they gave me some money and I over allocated in that. Actually, actually, I had just to survive in the next year. I had to pull, I had to take out some of my Bitcoin, but I consider that a loan from my own Bitcoin, which means I'm probably going to be down to about 2.3 after my next deposit. But I was at 2.6 Bitcoin. Um, one of them is cold stored, the rest is in Coinbase. But what? But I actually consider that a loan, which means I have every intention of paying it back. Even if Bitcoin's a million dollars, I take, plan on taking money from my altcoins and eventually putting it back in there. So we're, I'll eventually have my 2.6 because that's what I want to retire with. Um, and then, of course, I'll have a little bit of Ethereum, at least three Ethereum coins, hopefully more if I have time to DCA and do them. And whatever other projects I find that are going to change the crypto ecosystem, I'm going to get involved in those originally i thought i was only going to do 400 dollars, but i think i'm going to go 500 dollars in each project because that's only because i dca 53 dollars a day into the space and this will this means it's only going to take me like 10 days to fully fund a, a project that i'm interested in because they're all going to be at 500 some of these older coins that i did i did like Quan, i did with a lot more and, and chain link with a lot more and then there's about eight or nine other coins that I have a minimum of $1,700 in, but I'm talking about future picks. I'm going to keep it around 500. That way I could stay light on my feet and go and do another project every 10 days if, if, if it's a suitable project, if it makes sense. So that's how I'm going to do it. Um, see, I'm talking to you like we're having a cup of coffee at McDonald's or something. You know, it, it's these are casual videos, but they're videos that can change your life if you actually implement what I'm talking about here. So, um, 
one of the things you could do if you really want to support me is share the video with as many people as you can. You can either you can also like it. Even just liking it will help me a lot. And leaving a comment below because the more comments that are available, the more I think it raises up Google and, and people's algorithms so where they can find it easier. Um, so you're, in, in any comment you create on my one of my videos, it generates interesting dialogue. So I'm going to keep giving you more information. Um, I try to do it every two to three days. Um, so I don't know what I'm going to do it on next. I'm still thinking about it, but I have a couple good ideas. Um, so that's about it. Thanks for watching. Uh, peace out. And I'll be in touch uh, with another video very soon. Okay, take care and have a great weekend. Bye-bye.